now that I know that it's a buddy cop show, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, how's it going YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Today, this video is the first video that I can say I am officially an uncle. My nephew was born at 1244 yesterday. I'm so happy. The sun keeps going in and out, so you're gonna have to bear with me. It's been super annoying. Every time I try to start the recording, it's just like but Yeah, so I'm an uncle. If you're new to the channel, I've been staying with my little sister because she's pregnant and she was the last couple of months. So I wanted to help out before I head back to South Florida. So my time here is coming to a close, but I get a couple days to myself. So I'm like, you know what? Let me record as many reactions as I possibly can since it's gonna be nothing but baby screaming for the next couple of weeks. So let me get all the reactions ahead of time so I can actually keep them coming out somewhat consistently. So when I get back and find a new place, bam, I'm all set. I'm good to go. I can start a whole bunch of new shows. It's gonna be fun. You know what's funny is I might not even upload this, this, this whole thing that I'm doing right now. I might not even upload this. I'm debating doing a reaction for these or whether I do an animated review for these like this right here because here's the thing I liked WandaVision all right I'm not saying I didn't like WandaVision but I recorded a reaction for the first two episodes and I was just like I can't imagine anybody wanting to watch a reaction to this like just you know, it was kind of cool there was a couple moments but I feel like I feel like the Marvel shows are better suited to a weekly discussion review kind of thing so i don't know if this turns out to be like somewhat entertaining but not a whole lot of moments where i'm just like what? then i might do the other thing but if not this right here is my fan art for the episode is that i do fan art for every episode of tv that i watch so if you're watching this you're also watching this if you want to see me finish this Come back at the end of the episode and during the little review portion, you can do a watch the, the rest of that time lapse and see how it turns out. I was actually starting work on this yesterday. I was like, all right, I don't want to, I haven't seen the trailers yet. I haven't seen any trailers for this. Cause here's the thing. I'm one of those people that says that Winter Soldier is their favorite Marvel movie. I don't know what to tell you. Winter Soldier is my favorite Marvel movie and it's not even close. It's not even close. I love spy movies and Robert Redford as the secret spy. Did, come on, how do you not love that? Plus, it's actually funny because that was actually... When, when that movie first came out and I heard that the Russo brothers were directing it, I was just like, wait a minute, what? Because I am a die hard community fan like when i tell you die hard community fan like i live by community even though seasons four and half of season six man doesn't matter doesn't matter community and the russo brothers directed this episode so when i heard that they were doing captain two i was like yo i hope these guys get 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 more more publicity for this i didn't know they were gonna end up running shit like every time i watch that movie i always look at that 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 whole little that little that little the little knife flips i love the little knife flips man the little knife flips are so badass i love that movie so much i love that there wasn't any love i love that there was no romance in that movie there was steve and natasha hanging out the whole episode but they were never really romantic interests they were kind of talking about other girls i love winter soul so i'm sort of like not nervous just I'm, 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 I'm weary because I don't know how this is going to end up being because WandaVision was crazy multiverse, not multiverse, but, you know, reality warping, all kinds of crazy magic stuff. But I, like, I don't expect Falcon and Winter Soldier to have a climax that looks like this. Like, I'm not expecting, you know, what, let me just close these blinds because I'm getting tired of lowering the exposure rate. I was trying to get some better lighting in this bitch. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I like both Falcon and, uh, uh damn, I can't remember their names. Uh, Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie, I really liked him in, even though the, the season itself was kind of meh, I liked him in Altered Carbon. And then, I'm trying to remember Bucky's name. This Bucky's my dude, man. I love Bucky. Bucky's one of my favorite characters in the entire MCU. Like, it's, I don't know, just the, I always had a love for good guy brainwashed and turned super villain kind of thing like tommy the uh, the green ranger from power rangers just something about like i don't know just like i'm a good person everybody loves me and then i was like i'm going to kill you and your 
entire family and I have superpowers now. Like, oh my god, where did this come from? Just something about that is it gets always kind of like gets me all giddy. I don't know how much spy stuff there's going to be in this though. I'm hoping there's more spy stuff than anything. But I did recently, like, I, I've been trying to steer as, like, I wanted to go in as blind as possible for this. So I don't know anything about this except that Zemo comes back, which I like because Zemo was a cool villain. People give Zemo shit because as a super villain, he didn't really end up fighting anybody. But I love that. I love that at the very end, like, when, when they end up going to the... To the winter soldier like laboratory base where there was just like a whole bunch of winter soldiers and the whole movie you're expecting there to be this massive 20 winter soldier super soldier fight and you get there and everybody's dead and zemo is just like nah nah i don't give i don't want these guys i want you guys to fight each other here ready here watch this i thought that was so cool so i've been trying to steer as clear as possible but now that i know that it's a buddy cop because I love the... Who doesn't love the buddy cop genre? Come on. My little sister hadn't seen uh, Lethal Weapon in a long time. So during Christmas, because it's a Christmas movie, we ended up watching it. That movie holds up swimmingly. Swimmingly. I wanted to get this up with the quickness. I was trying to get it up at like, you know, I was trying to do the... I was trying to pull an all-nighter. This was the last week of a pregnancy. So like... <laughs> it's been a little hectic around here. <laughs> like when it comes to reactions, psh, wait till Moon Knight comes out. All right, when Moon Knight comes out, you'll be seeing. I'll be way more excited for these. I do love hearing that sound. When you didn't hear this sound for the first couple of episodes of uh, WandaVision, and then all of a sudden it just kicks in. I think it was like episode like three or four. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. Movie schmoovie, schmoovie schmee. I can't remember who I was asking, but somebody was like, why can't Bucky Barnes be the uh, Captain America? I'm like, he's, he's, he's a Russian spy murderer. <laughs> like how many govern, how many US government officials do you think that Bucky Barnes is responsible for? He can't be Captain America. Aw, don't tell me he's dead. This looks like funeral attire. He's, he died, didn't he? That's how you start this shit off? God damn it. No. No, I don't think I won't. I never understood that. Why not? <laughs> I never understood why he said that. It's a cool line. It's mysterious. But, like, one of your best friends is like, Hey, tell me about the fact that, like, you know, you went back in time and stayed with the woman you love and raised a family and had a good time. And he's just like, No! Even though you're one of my best friends, I'm not gonna tell you shit. I'm just gonna sit here in total silence and give you the shield and call it a day. Wait, what? So what, what happened? Did he did he go to a funeral? That Again, that looked like funeral attire. Yeah, okay. Here's the thing is that this is all I want to do, but with this. <laughs> I've never jumped out of a plane, but the only dream I have in life is to fly one day. And I feel like this is the, like to jump out of a plane with a jetpack strapped on you. Because otherwise you're just falling. Like if, if you jump out of an airplane, even with a wingsuit on, you're still going to have a, a certain amount of time before you end up falling. If you've got a jetpack, you fly for as long as you want. Hey, it's it's uh the leaper. That's too funny. In my reaction video where I'm talking about Lupin, the only part of French that I actually have in there is someone going, "I'll kill you." Nice, nice. Yeah, this is what I'm here for. Freaking nuts to the bewitched parody. Oh, there he goes. There he goes leaping. That opening fight scene in Winter Soldier with him, when he talks shit to Cap and Cap just puts the shield on his back and he's just like... Alright. <laughs> Hell, that opening sequence of Winter Soldier of him hijacking the, the, the ship might be one of my favorite parts of the entire movie. Granted, because it reminds me of Metal Gear. Otacon, I'm getting ready to access the ship. Right? Yeah, see, this is... I'd be cool with freaking squirrel suits. I really want to fly with the squirrel suit one day. I think squirrels... Like, I legitimately think squirrel suits are the coolest things ever. 
There's a video with Sail by AWOL Nation. It's called Grinding Through the Crack, I think. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, through the crack. <laughs> That's funny. That's basically exactly what happens, is this dude wingsuits through, like, this little tiny... crack. Like, he gets so close to the ground that he, like, clips a balloon. I love wingsuits. Wingsuits are so cool. So this is an awesome... <laughs> I'm really enjoying this opening sequence. A wingsuit battle sequence. I, I don't think I've ever seen a wingsuit battle sequence before. Especially as somebody that plays Population 1 every night. See, here's the thing is that this is the kind of action that I'm here for because there's actual, like, stakes in this. Like, this is more just some cool, like, it's just him versus a bunch of dudes. I like all the magic powers and super shit, but you just, it gets a little... That's the word I'm looking for. Not drowning. Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> I would assume so, yes. This is awesome. This is awesome! Who directed this? I'm already way more entertained by this than the final fight in, in WandaVision. The f that whole little tucking back into the helicopter thing they've done twice so far looks awesome. One of my favorite set pieces in the entire MCU is Iron Man 3, when he, when they're skydiving. They see me and he saves everybody. Like, I know people are gonna watch this and just be like, oh, it's nothing but action. I miss the experimental nature of WandaVision. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the experimental nature of WandaVision, but they could have been more, exper they could have been way more experimental. Oof. This looks great. Special effects wise, this looks fantastic. Visual effects, whatever it's called. I know there's a difference. Nice. Nice. No! I was gonna say, <laughs> I like the Leaper. I want to see the Leaper some more. I wasn't expecting to see him again. Bartok, I think his name is. Bartok the Leaper. Hey, I will destroy any of you in Bones. There's nothing that I get more... <laughs> There's nothing that I get more competitive with than spades and dominoes. Basically, they think that the world is better during the blitz. That's cool. That's a cool way of thinking about it. Like, I wouldn't expect them to br to bring that up. People that thought Thanos was right. Hashtag Thanos was right. <laughs> nice. He's got he's got charisma. I wasn't sure how he was going to be able to hold off being leading man. Cuz again, he was kind of kind of stoic in ah. He was kind of stoic in uh Altered Carbon. We need new heroes. My dog has the cleanest. <laughs> Every movie, every movie he's been in, my dog has the cleanest mustache. So it's not a funeral, it's a... It's a memorial. Is he gone though, or did he... I want to know whether or not they, like, he actually died, or if they're just... Like, oh, he went into the time machine and never came back. Oh, he's not gonna... He's gonna, he's at some point in the show, he's gonna end up having to like smash that glass open and grab it. He's like, I am Captain America. You have to believe in yourself, man. He gave the shield to you. No, it was not. Don't listen to this asshole. Talk him out of it. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be like, man, you should. You know what, I didn't even think about how he's gonna react to Tony being dead. This is from Winter Soldier. Why won't you do it? Mm-hmm. Because I don't feel like I'm good enough. And he said... 
It doesn't. No, no, that's not. I loved that line. I lo when he goes. Well, it doesn't. I I thought that line was so touching. Allies are now enemies. Alliances are all torn apart. Talk about Tony. The world's broken. I know people are tired of Iron Man because of how much he appears in the Spider-Man movies, but I want to see how how Rhodey reacts. You know, we never really got a, like a moment with him. A new day, brother. To just kind of take in the. The loss. No! Oh, stick around, Rhodey. So he's completely healed now, or does he have some kind of... Nah, this kid's evil. Either he's evil, or he's about to go back to, like, his room, and there's gonna be people waiting for him. Hey! Full metal. <laughs> Full metal for days. Revving at full throttle. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I feel like this is a flashback though. Hail Hydra. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't feel like he's that brutal anymore. Ah, this poor kid. Just because you were a witness. Wompers. My boy back in college would call that Wompers. I didn't see yeah, this. well. I didn't see this. Come on. Yeah. Damn it, man. I want to see more of that Bucky, though. <laughs> Seems I asked you a question. Are you still heading out? Yes. No. Ah. We've been doing this long enough that I think I want to lie. There you go. With your history, the government needs to know. You're not gonna fly off, start murdering people. So, tell me about your most recent move. I don't have any. Mm -mm. This feels like Mr. Robot. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> All we need is a friggin' La Casa de Papel reference. Across the main lobby, there's a man named Victor. Roy. I feel like this is already the most we've heard him talk in all the movies, like combined. Now, is he doing this for the government, or is he doing this on his own accord? So, rule number one. Can't do anything that you want. Uh, okay. He can do this kind of stuff, but there were guidelines in place. Nobody gets hurt. It's a big one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why isn't it number one? Of course. I can see that you're number three. Which is... I'm no longer the Winter Soldier. I'm James Bucky Barnes, and you're part of my effort to make... <laughs> <laughs> You're alone. You're a hundred years old. You have no history. No this is cool. See, this is the kind of shit that I love about Marvel. When they focus more on the personal, everyday shit of these extraordinary people. Like, you're a hundred years old. You're a super soldier that used to be an assassin. But this is your normal life now. I, I don't understand why he doesn't go back. Why, like, why wouldn't you just stay in Wakanda? Now that you've stopped fighting, what do you need? I like these shots. Peace. That is utter bullshit. It is terribly strange. <laughs> and if you are alone, that is the quietest most person has. Yo, I love this. This is only six episodes, right? Back to Wakanda. <laughs> You're free to go back to Wakanda. So, so I'm assuming he he knows him from somewhere, from back in the day. <laughs> so young. <laughs> Right, come on, Bucky. 
Hey. Hey. For you, Bucky, she's cute. Mm -hmm. This is easily the most we've heard him ever talk. He has a job with a consulting company. And, uh, How do these two know each other, though? Yeah, like, I'm assuming that he knows him from back in when he was, you know, younger, or through the years, but he could have just, like, met him because he lives next door to him or something, and he just connects more to older people. Oh, he killed him. Oh, I'm an idiot. His grandson. Oh, that was the dude that he killed. I'm so dumb. Uncle Sam. I'm an uncle. I'm Uncle Joe. Cut it out. I can't wait to hold my nephew. He comes back tomorrow. He comes home tomorrow. I'm like just so excited to just be like. Mm -hmm. Dr. Space Cape. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sarah. I don't understand how he doesn't have, like, money. Like, there's no way that Tony didn't leave a fortune to, like, everybody that was still around. Look, they're talking about $50 and loaning 100 Like, there's no way that when Tony died, his will wasn't like, all right, 100 million to you, 100 million to you, 100 million to you. So does he have money and she just won't take it? Seriously. What appointment? You're an Avenger. <laughs> Like, Tony left a billion dollar set of glasses with, like, an entire arsenal attached to it to a teenager. You're telling me that he didn't leave any money to Falcon? You're telling me that Captain America didn't have money saved up from working? That he wasn't like, yo, I leave all my money to my best friend. What's-her-face is dead, as his wife. I'm assuming he's dead. Like, wouldn't he have left Sam the house in his will? I guess I don't understand how Sam isn't loaded. <laughs> Dude's got like a billion dollar jetpack. I do like the fact that they're exploring a little bit more of the blip. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> no. It's the whole point of it. <laughs> drink. Well, drink. This has a really cinematic look to it. I'm loving the way that this whole show is shot. Like, as someone that loves Daredevil, it still had kind of a TV show-y look to it. Like, just barely. It had a very, very movie cinematic-y look to it. But I love how this is just shot. Oh, he's gonna tell him. Speaking of Daredevil, I feel like that's some purple man, Zemo. He's gonna tell him. <sighs> yeah. Aww. See you around. Yeah, see this purple lighting? Very Jessica Jonesy. Signifying purple man's coming because Zemo is basically like 90% purple. I'm just gonna keep complaining about the fact that I don't believe that he's not rich. Okay, now you really doing more than the See, I like that line better than. Like, you, you know, I don't know how many of you have ever heard the phrase, uh, on time is late. What is it? 
Early is on time, on time is late, and late is unacceptable. I hate that phrase. I got told that once, I'm like, then you need to schedule me for 15 minutes earlier. <laughs> but I like that. You're either late or early, pick one. I like that. That sounds less douchey. <laughs> this reminds me of Kino infiltrating the secret ninja organization in Turtles 2. Next, you have to take all these bells off of this dummy without being without one sound. <laughs> Cool. Who is this then? This, this can't be Leaper. That dude just jumped off of the... I like it. It's cool, but who is this guy? Yeah, see, this guy's definitely got powers. You're an Avenger. I knew it stopped. <laughs> He's, he's still going to turn them down. Yes, it, it, yes, it does. No, I'm with him. He's curious. Yeah, exactly. That's a fair point, though. I still don't understand. I just, like, there's no way. I'm going to keep talking about that this entire thing. There's 0% chance that Tony Stark didn't leave every single person that was left in the Avengers a sizable amount of money. There's 0% chance. Like, he has to be getting paid a decent amount of money for the shit that he does. I can't imagine they're just like, we'll let you keep the wings, but you got to work for us for free. Like, I've got a friend that went back overseas after he finished his tour just to, like, consult... He's like a millionaire now. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky you're not dead. Don't tell me they've got someone else being Captain America. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You gotta be shitting me. Oh my god. You douche. Who is it? Just some random person? That's sh shitty. Who's this jackass? I'm feeling the song. And where was Rhodey? Where was Rhodey with the heads up? There's no way that he wouldn't have known. I do like that they at least, even if I don't buy it, I do like that they are, I'll talk about it afterwards. I just want to make sure there's nothing. Sebastian Stan, that's his name. That's a hard name to remember. Who the hell's named Sebastian? Now this is, when I was, even though I haven't watched the trailers, I did kind of skim through it with the, with the sound off just to find some pictures to put together to make this. And I saw, I saw a girl with with Daredevil batons, and I know that that's Bobby, I think, from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I know that's her, like, signature weapon, so I don't know if they recast Bobby or if this is just somebody else. That's it. Oh, they need to cut it. They need to make these credits a little bit shorter. It's not fair for people that think, like, oh, yeah, there's definitely going to be something after that. The credits are 30 minutes long. Whew. I liked it. I liked it. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it for a second. Walk the dog. I'm gonna take him for a walk. I'll be back and I'll finish, and I'll and we'll do this and we'll do this and give me like 30 minutes. Okay, so that whole me wanting to go for a walk and come back didn't work out too well. So my mom came in town. I didn't want to do all this. I wanted to help her unpack and everything. My little sister came home with the baby. He's super cute. And me and my mom are alternating her hotel room so she can be there to help out. I can be there to help out. And today's Thursday. <laughs> the episode comes out later on tonight. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me, I have the whole edit. I have the whole episode already edited, but I haven't finished the little end part in this thing right here. So, but since I did edit it, 
and I did get to watch it a second time, and I did get to go around the, the, the Reddit a little bit just to see what people were thinking about. First off, the funniest part is that <laughs> the biggest complaint that I saw people saying was, we're in, we're in Libyan airspace, we can't cross that. It's like, oh yeah, because America is so big on not crossing into you know other countries' airspaces. And then people were laughing at how, I guess, Anthony Mackie just like, butchered the Tunisian part that he was speaking and someone else was like this is not what Tunisians do this is not what Tunisians dress like what is this <laughs> all right so I take back the fact that I was like oh good for you Falcon you can speak the language but I did get a lot of people that were complaining about the fact that it's like oh obviously Tony left them some money there's no way that he's just completely broke uh <clears throat> I was laughing at how long it took me to realize that the the dude that Bucky was hanging out with was the kid's grandfather. I still say that opening action scene was pretty cool though. People were talking about how it was very disjointed, how everything was kind of jumpy, and upon the 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 edit rewatch, I see where they're coming from, but I still think that it flowed good enough. Like I didn't, I wasn't too all over the place for me at least. But yeah, this whole thing with with Falcon's sister and the the, the house and all that, I just. That's the last thing I care about right now. <laughs> just because none of it, once you introduce a plot element that just doesn't like compute with me, I just like, I, okay, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. They went to the bank and the bank manager was like, oh, you're an adventure? Oh, sorry, we can't help, we can't help because you've been gone for five years. It's like, no, I'm not buying this, Marvel, sorry. I still don't know who dude that jumped out of the window was, but I guess I, like, I, I read a pretty fair amount of comics but I didn't know who US Agent was. I think I might have read a US Agent comic with him inside of it at some point, because the name does sound slightly familiar. But I think he might have also been a, I think he might have also been like a secret character in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. <laughs> I don't know. I, all I know is I've heard the name US Agent before, but I didn't know that that's who the little crappy faux Captain America at the end was. And I still, man, that's dirty. I still think that's like the dirtiest thing ever. <laughs> and I'm still with where was Rhodey. <laughs> I'm still with, there's no way that, they, oh, I guess they wouldn't know. They wouldn't be like, hey, uh, we don't want to, we don't want to have a black Captain America. So we're just going to hire this dude, but don't tell Rhodey because he's going to get pissed off about it. But I feel like Rhodey would show up and be like, hey guys, what you, what you guys doing? Who's this dude? Huh? Huh? Who's this guy? No, no. No, you give it back to him. You give it back to him. Like I was, at the same time, it does kind of work for me when it comes to the, like the trial that he has to overcome. Cause just him not believing in himself enough to be Captain America is one thing, but him not believing in himself to be Captain America and then having some other dude take your spot for clearly racial reasons does kind of add a little bit more oomph when he finally does take up the mantle and grab the shield. So I'm, 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 I'm you know, it's, it's a, it's an interesting little twist. <laughs> I just, I just keep thinking about how I go, oh my God, I'm so stupid. It's his grandfather. So dumb. Someone else was saying on Reddit that they were like, uh, that, that scene with the psychiatrist were the most close ups on a person's face I've ever had, <laughs> but I thought it worked. I guess some people didn't. I, I thought it kind of worked. I'm trying to think what else. Like I said, just the, that opening sequence. So one of my favorite people on Twitter, John Cullen, he's another, he's a fellow webcomic artist. He was saying that that opening sequence feels like uh, Disney slash Marvel just showing off at this point. And I agree. You know, like I said, people were like, oh, how, where did they get the wingsuits from? They jumped out all of a sudden, they're in wingsuits. It was very disjointed, blah, blah, blah. American propaganda. Like I get all that, but I got a wingsuit opening sequence flight battle <laughs> i can forgive a lot of things when you give me an opening sequence wingsuit battle and again i still love that the little <laughs> that was so cool we still don't know if captain america is dead i feel like captain america is going to show up at first at that opening sequence i thought he was dead but now i now the more that i think about it i think that just bucky hulk i guess the avenger he, like, i'm sure they might have told the rest of the avengers but for sure at least bucky hulk and falcon are the only ones that know no no, I don't think I will. I, I, I think, feel like they're the only ones that know that he's still alive in old form and his his whole thing. Like before they left, he was probably like, hey, do me a favor, don't, don't tell anybody. I want to just, 
I just want to live my life, you know, call it a day. I'm good. And it's cool because they do kind of get to touch on the him aging in the comics. I know he comes back to regular age in the comics, but it does get to do a little old man uh, Steve kind of thing. I like that little, I was jamming out to that little spy -y end credits musical song at the end. When I was editing, I was like, yeah, I do like this song. Sorry, the lighting <laughs> isn't the great, isn't the greatest here. I've got, <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm working with hotel room and it's either super shit bright in the background or somewhat visible. I guess this, this kind of works maybe. How about that? How do you like this? I've, I've been working on this for like little bits and pieces here and there and I hate it. It looks a little bit like Mackie and Sebastian Stan, but I feel like I could do better. <sighs> I gotta take some more classes on how to, some, some more YouTube classes on digital art. But. So that's it. We got the first episode of Winter Soldier and Falcon under our belt. I'm gonna try to watch the next episode tonight. I don't know how that's gonna work, cause baby. <laughs> I love the little baby screams, but I'm not, I'm in my room when he's screaming. So I don't have to be like up close to So I feel like my sister and my brother-in-law might not be his. Oh, that's such a cute little scream. <laughs> but <laughs> I will try to get that episode up a little bit faster than this one. Anyone that comes to the channel knows that I've the last like year has just been nonstop like interruptions in my in my upload schedule for f very good reasons. It's not just me being lazy, all right? Every time that I go for an extended period of time without uploading anything, I've got a fairly good reason to do that. But I'm going to try to get these ones up a little bit faster. I'm nearing the end of my little sabbatical away from South Florida. I'm trying to get my own place again in the next like month or two. So hopefully as soon as that happens, I can just make my own little studio again, get my lighting set up, my own little thing. So if you want to help me, if you enjoyed this and found me particularly entertaining and would like to see more stuff like this from me, leave a comment or do the subscribe -y or do the like -y if you like that. If you like that, I got more of these for all my shows. So feel free to check out the rest of them. Uh, what do you think so far? What do you think had a stronger opening? I feel like between WandaVision and this, I feel like this had a much stronger opening. Even though <clears throat> I really appreciated the too many cooks moments that WandaVision had in those first couple episodes. Like that first episode where... Uh, the mom from that 70s show was just going like, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> stop it. I was super creeped out by that. There's really nothing like that in this. This is a more <sighs> traditional Marvel-y fair, but I'm here for it. So thank you guys. Sorry this took so long to get up. No, I say that a lot on my channel, but regardless, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this artwork from this episode. It was cool. I enjoyed making it. I do a piece of fan art for all my reactions. So if you'd like to see more artwork from different shows, check out the rest of my channel. Thanks for stopping by the bar and may all of your runnings be cool.